Good morning ladies and gentlemen. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app and you can find the current affairs of entire year. So now, let's start. The first edition of Ganga Volga dialogue was recently held in New Delhi to enhance the bilateral cooperation between India and which country? So this Ganga Volga dialogue held in New Delhi to enhance the cooperation between India and Russia and this dialogue was organized by MEA that is Ministry of External Affairs in association with Dr. Shama Prashad Mukherjee Research Foundation present Minister of External Affairs is Mr. S. Jaisankar Russia was also in news because of power of Siberia it is a pipeline between Russia and China apart from that Russia was also in news as recently Mr. Mikhail Misustin was appointed as the new Prime Minister of Russia. Russia was also in news as it was banned by WADA for four years. WADA is World Anti-Doping Agency. The International Summit on Women in STEM that is Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics was recently held in which city? So this summit held in New Delhi and the theme was Visualizing the Future New Skylines. So the summit was organized by DBT, that is Department of Biotechnology. It is under Ministry of Science and Technology and the objective of this event was to encourage the participation of women in STEM field. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. Now, if we talk about Ministry of Science and Technology, present minister is Dr. Harshwadhan. He is handling the portfolio of Ministry of Earth Sciences as well as Ministry of health and family welfare. Now to attract more people to study science, an initiative was started and the name of initiative was INSPIRE. Answer in comment books, it is an initiative by which ministry? What is the theme of National Voters Day which is celebrated across the country? So National Voters Day is celebrated every year on 25th of January and for the first time it was celebrated in 2011 and it is celebrated because on this day, in 1950, Election Commission of India was established and the theme for this year's National Voters Day was Electoral Literacy for Stronger Democracy. So, Election Commission of India is a constitutional body and recently, former Chief Election Commissioner Mr. T. N. Session passed away. Apart from that, Election Commission of India was also in news as recently it launched PPR TMS, that is Political Parties registration tracking management system so it is a platform launched for the tracking of registration of political parties india signed memorandum of understanding with world bank for agri business and rural transformation project of which state so recently government of india and state government of maharashtra and world bank signed a loan agreement of dollar 210 millions for the agri business and Rural Transformation Project of State of Maharashtra. Now this project will help the small and marginal farmers to increase their market assess. So this project will be implemented in certain districts of Maharashtra. Now recently World Bank was also in news as World Bank is the funding partner for Atal Bhujal Yojana. This is an initiative by central government and the objective of this scheme is to promote the sustainable management of groundwater resources and for this the funding pattern is 50-50 that means 50% of the funding would be provided by World Bank and 50% would be provided by Government of India. Now this is a scheme for groundwater management. There is another scheme that is Jal Jeevan Mission and the objective of this initiative is to provide access to tap water to every household. Apart from that recently water quality report was released for state capitals. Now answer in comment books which ministry released this report? Which Indian private sector bank has recently launched its wealth management platform called Pioneer Banking? So recently Indus End Bank launched its wealth management platform Pioneer Banking. So what is so special about this initiative? Actually this service mainly focus on high net worth individuals and under this scheme the bank will provide various benefits to these high net worth individuals 
including free doorstep banking up to rupee 4 lakh per day so this is an initiative by indus in bank now the headquarter of this bank is in mumbai mumbai is the financial capital of india and recently mr suman katpalia was appointed as the new md and ceo of this indus in bank he will replace mr romesh sobti mr sobti will retire in march 2020 and the tagline of this bank is we make you feel richer which steel plant of india was recently awarded at world economic forum annual meet for being included in the lighthouse network of world economic forum so this is tata steel kalingnagar plant and in july 2019 it became the first and only indian manufacturing plant to be included in the lighthouse network of world economic forum and therefore it was recently awarded by the world economic forum now recently the annual meeting of wef held in davos it was 50th meeting and indian delegation was led by mr pius goel world economic forum was also in news as it recently released gender gap report apart from that recently world economic forum was in news because of 1t.org and the objective of this initiative is to grow restore and conserve 1 trillion trees around the world by 2030 in addition to that world economic forum was also in news as recently it released social mobility report the global consortium for digital currency governance was recently announced by which organization so this consortium was announced at the annual meeting of world economic forum and this consortium focus on creating a framework for governance of digital currencies and this is a first of its kind initiative now if we talk about world economic forum it is non-governmental organization the headquarter of wef is in switzerland and the founder and executive chairman of wef mr klaus swab jair bolsonaro who was the chief guest of republic day celebrations of india is the president of which country so he is the president of brazil and he was a chief guest for this year's republic day ceremony now it should be noted that he became the president in 2018 and this is his first visit to india the capital of brazil is brasilia recently the BRICS summit also held in brazil now there is a BRICS bank also which is now known as new development bank answer in comment box where is the headquarter of this bank Apart from that, Brazil was also in news as recently it decided to open a new Antarctic research base. The International Children's Film Festival was recently inaugurated in which South Asian country with the theme Under the World. So this was inaugurated in Dhaka in Bangladesh. Now Bangladesh was also in news as recently it became the first South Asian country to introduce e-passport. And recently, the first e-passport was issued to Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Ms. Sheikh Hasina. Capital of Bangladesh is Dhaka, currency is Taka, and the Prime Minister is Ms. Sheikh Hasina. Her political party is Awami League. In fact, Bangladesh is the top country in South Asia in gender gap report. It is on 50th position. India is on 112nd position. Yemen is the worst performing country as per this report. And this report was released by World Economic Forum. India has signed an agreement with which country to upgrade Ashuganj Akura Road into four lane highway. So, India and Bangladesh signed an agreement to upgrade the Ashuganj Akura Road into four lane highway. This will improve the connectivity between India and Bangladesh. So, as you can see in the map, this is Ashuganj and this is Akura. The ban on which Indian Sports Federation has been lifted recently by the international regulator ahead of Tokyo 2020. So right answer is Archery Association of India. So recently this ban was removed by the World Archery so that the Indian players can participate in the Tokyo Olympics. Actually, this Archery Association of India was suspended by the World Archery on the grounds of interference in the election. And recently, Union Minister of Tribal Affairs, Mr. Arjun Munda, was elected as the President of Archery Association of India. And since it was suspended last year, so recently 
द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंडियन ओलंपिक एसोसिएशन मिस्टर नरेंद्र बत्रा रिक्वेस्टेड वर्ल्ड आर्चरी टू लिफ्ट ए बैन सो दैट इंडिया कैन पार्टिसिपेट इन दिस आर्चरी कॉम्पिटिशन ऑफ वर्ल्ड ओलंपिक्स इन दिस आर्चरी कॉम्पिटिशन ऑफ टोक्यो ओलंपिक्स ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी देर फो वर्ल्ड आर्चरी लिफ्टेड दिस बैन कंडीशनली नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट टोक्यो ओलंपिक्स दीज आर समर ओलंपिक गेम्स नेक्स्ट समर ओलंपिक गेम्स विल बी इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इन फ्रांस वाइल विंटर ओलंपिक गेम्स आर गोइंग टू बी इन चाइना इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सिक्स विंटर ओलंपिक गेम्स आर गोइंग टू बी इन इटली यूनियन मिनिस्टर ऑफ ट्राइबल अफेयर्स हैज प्रपोज सिक्स शेड्यूल एरिया स्टेटस टू विच यूनियन टेरिटरी ऑफ इंडिया सो इट वॉज प्रपोज फॉर लद्दाख नाउ वाई सिक्स शेड्यूल एरिया स्टेटस बिकॉज एरियाज एंड सिक्स शेड्यूल आर ग्रांटेड सिग्निफिकेंट अटोनोमी एंड दे गेट द पावर्स टू मेक देयर ओन लोज सो प्रेजेंटली एरियाज इन द फोर स्टेट्स आर अंडर सिक्स शेड्यूल दीज आर ए टी एम एम आसाम त्रिपुरा मेघालय एंड मिजोराम नाउ सिक्स शेड्यूल वॉज ऑल्सो इन यूज एज सी ए ए दैट इज सिटीजनशिप अमेंडमेंट एक्ट वॉन्ट बी एप्लीकेबल इन द एरियाज ऑफ सिक्स शेड्यूल एज वेल एज इन द एरियाज ऑफ आई एल पी आई एल पी स्टैंड फॉर इनर लाइन परमिट एंड रिसेंटली आई एल पी वॉज एक्सटेंडेड इन टू मणिपुर सो नाउ फोर स्टेट्स आर अंडर आई एल पी दीज आर अरुणाचल प्रदेश नागालैंड मणिपुर मिजोराम ऑल दीज फोर स्टेट्स शेयर बॉर्डर बाउंड्री विद म्यांमार सो यू कैन रिमेंबर इट विद दिस ट्रिक इंडियाज फर्स्ट वॉर मेमोरियल फॉर सर्विस एनिमल्स इज टू बी सेटअप इन विद सिटी सो इट विल बी सेटअप इन मेरठ इन उत्तर प्रदेश रिसेंटली उत्तर प्रदेश वॉज इन न्यूज एज इंडिया फर्स्ट यूनिवर्सिटी फॉर ट्रांसजेंडर्स विल बी सेटअप इन खुशी नगर इन उत्तर प्रदेश अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट उत्तर प्रदेश वॉज ऑल्सो इन न्यूज एज रिसेंटली द फर्स्ट मीटिंग ऑफ नेशनल गंगा काउंसिल हेल्ड इन उत्तर प्रदेश इन कानपुर नाउ आंसर इन कमेंट बुक्स हु इज द चेयरमैन ऑफ नेशनल गंगा काउंसिल अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट उत्तर प्रदेश इज द होस्ट ऑफ दिस ईयर्स डिफेंस एक्सपो ऑन विच डेट नेशनल टूरिज्म डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड अक्रॉस कंट्री सो इट इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ जनवरी नाउ दिस इज नेशनल टूरिज्म डे दैट इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ ऑफ जनवरी वाइल वर्ल्ड टूरिज्म डे इज सेलिब्रेटेड ऑन ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर एंड रिलेटेड टू टूरिज्म देर इज ए वर्ल्ड टूरिज्म एंड रिलेटेड टू टूरिज्म देर इज अ वर्ल्ड ट्रेड एंड टूरिज्म इंडेक्स सो दिस इंडेक्स इज प्रिपेयर बाई वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फोरम एंड एज पर दिस इंडेक्स India is on 34th position previously India was on 40th position and the index is topped by Spain Spain was also in news as recently the 25th conference of parties held in Spain and this was under the presidency of Chile which indian airport introduced a service called women with wheels taxi service for women operated by women drivers so this was started at IGI airport New Delhi and the service is initiated by Sakha cabs so the taxis are driven by women drivers and transport services are provided only to the female passengers and this was launched at IGI airport in New Delhi the government of india has signed an agreement with which indian multinational corporation to improve the performance of gstn portal so for this the government of india has signed an agreement with infosys now it should be noted that infosys is the service provider for the gst regime in our country gst stands for goods and services tax and gst council is headed by finance minister so to improve the performance of gstn portal the government of india signed agreement with infosys and the technological changes will be operational from april 2020 The online monitoring platform named Gati was recently launched by which union ministry so this was launched by Ministry of Road Transport and Highways and this portal is created by NHAI NHAI stands for National Highway Authority of India so NHAI is Ministry of Road Transport and Highways so what is the objective of this portal actually this portal can be accessed from NHAI website and in this portal the contractors can raise the issues related to projects and these project related issues will be resolved with the help of nhai present minister of road transport and highways is mr nitin gadkari his constituency is nagpur and recently 
Nagpur resolution was in use. What was the objective of this resolution? Answer in comment box. Which zone of Indian Railways has commissioned the government's first waste to energy plant? So it is East Coast Railway. Actually, East Coast Railway has commissioned the government's first waste to energy plant. Now, it should be kept in mind that it is fourth such plant in India. However, this is first of its kind in Indian Railways. And this plant will turn e-waste and plastic waste into light diesel oil and a technology named polycrack was recently patented to convert this e-waste and plastic waste into light diesel oil so this is first of its kind project for indian railways now if we talk about e-waste recently india's first e-waste clinic was started in bhopal bhopal is in madhya pradesh and this clinic is the joint initiative of bhopal municipal corporation and CPCB. CPCB stands for Central Pollution Control Board. It is under Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Who has been recently conferred with the Harit Ratan Award in the field of agriculture? So recently, Mr. N. Kumar, the Vice Chancellor of Tamil Nadu Agricultural University has been conferred Harit Ratan Award by the All India Agriculture Students Association. The country's first super fab lab, that is fabrication laboratory, is to be set up in which state? So it will be set up in Kerala and recently it was launched and the facility was inaugurated by Chief Minister of Kerala, Mr. Pinarai Vijayan. So this is first of such laboratory in our country. Now Kerala was also in news as it approached Supreme Court under Article 131 of Indian Constitution to oppose Citizenship Amendment Act. Kerala was also in news as it became the first state to pass a resolution against CAA. So these were the important questions of today's quiz. Thank you and that's all for the day.